This is where Bill Gates is quietly spending more than $1.6 billion of his fortune. His money helping to eradicate the scourge of polio in Nigeria. But grinding poverty remains, and for many, an absence of political leadership. As a partner of Nigeria... So the once silent partner is speaking out. You know, I am saying that the current plan is inadequate. Directed squarely at politicians, the public rebuke is a rare departure for Gates and his foundation, but it comes at a critical time. Africa's biggest economy is heading into the 2019 elections with the continent's largest youth population. Nearly 8 million of them are unemployed. Why are you thinking that it's good to give hard facts to Nigerian leaders right now? Well, Nigeria um, has all these young people, and the current uh, quality and quantity of investment in this young generation, uh, the health and education, just isn't good enough. Uh, and, you know, so I was very uh, direct. Out on the streets, they say the government is often absent or present in the form of an official asking for a bribe. Nigeria is rated one of the most corrupt countries. So, you know, what do you think of the message that Bill Gates is bringing here? Bill Gates is saying the truth. Moses Achendu works in a bank near the market. He says vendors like this woman selling IFO don't have steady electricity and they can't access loans. All these people are trying to survive and are they being helped? No. People are struggling to survive every day. The government says it has welcomed Gates's message and is working to do better for the people, a population that by 2050 will be bigger than in the United States. Do you see the potential for Nigeria when you visit uh, people in this country and go out onto the streets? I really do think of all the countries I've seen, uh, it really hangs in the balance. If, if they can get health and education right, uh, they will be an engine of growth, not just for themselves, uh, which will be those 400 million people, but for all of Africa. Moses says Nigerians don't need to be given much to succeed. We are frustrated, yes. If they could just be provided with the basics, he says the talent of Nigerians will shine through. David McKenzie, CNN Lagos.